Hello, St. Francis community. I'm speaking with Father Kowalczyk from Star of the Sea Parish. Hi, Father. Good morning, Mr. McGuire. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, I know it's uh, different times we're going through here, and uh, we haven't had you in the community. We've missed you. Uh, thank you. I've certainly missed being a part of the school community, and uh, I do pray for the students. Um, I know it has to be rough. They should know that this is un unprecedented even for those of us who've been around for a longer while. We really do appreciate that you're uh, still celebrating Mass um, and you're going online to do that. Yes, and I, I would like to direct the students to that. Um, a, one simple way, either either the parish website, Star of the Sea Church in St. Catharines, the parish website, they could lo uh, log on to it there. We're, we're uploading to YouTube every week. And actually, when they, if they just even simply went to YouTube and put in Star of the Sea Church, St. Catharines, uh, they, it will come up and they can see the variety of um, uploads that we have there, including a couple of humorous things for those who are looking for a little humor. It's called, it's called um, Coffee Talk with Father, Coffee with Father. And um, it's, yeah, it, it has come out nicely. One of our parishioners is a video, uh, videographer, Eckstein Multimedia in fact, and he works usually mostly in court setting. Have you had any challenges moving to online masses? Um, no, well, there was one. There was one. We had uh, celebrated mass with Deacon Ed, and unfortunately, he was just a little bit, uh, they felt that whoever was complaining, uh, I presume it might be the person who keeps giving me a thumbs down. There's one person who doesn't like, you know, there's always a curmudgeon. And so Deacon, they felt was too close to me standing at the altar and also sitting. Uh, I, I realized it after the camera had started. As usual, you can do anything that you want and that's acceptable in your house, right? nobody's going to be stopping you. Um, of course, we are enfleshed beings. We're incarnational beings. And so the, um, how we dress, for example, this actually can affect, and how we're sitting, because uh, when you're in church, you're not going to be obviously laying down on a pew uh, or anything like that, or, or sitting as though you're watching some kind of a, of a sports event or anything like that nor would you be chewing gum because these things tend to speak of some form of entertainment. You're not going to be having a ball cap on or having a hoodie over your head so that you want to just, you want to feel more, more covered and more, you know, isolated from people. You would be um, attentive and desiring to give worship to God. Remember, people will complain and they have for years or decades, maybe even longer, oh, I don't get anything out of the Mass. That's been a, a long-standing complaint. But of course, the question the priests uh, and other of the faithful fire back at them, what are you bringing to Mass? Since it's not entertainment, it's an act of worship to the Lord, um, what are you bringing? Attentiveness? Are you bringing reverence? Are you bringing your heart? Prayer has been very important for for me as, as they might expect. And um, I'll tell you what, um, it, is, it is amazing. It's silent, of course. And so uh, the prayer has helped enormously and it's helped curbing any, sometimes you get lonely moments, as you know, and uh, especially now that we're more confined to, the, to our homes and prayer, um, that conversation with the Lord, just sitting with him, that really meets a, a deep felt need within. If any of the students are having any of that, you sit with the Lord. And of course, he says, he says this to you, right in the scriptures, be still and know that I am God. Perfect. Thank you, Father. Uh, maybe can we conclude? I don't know if you want to give a blessing or a prayer for the students. I, it's a it's an, a pleasure and an honor. Then you will see blessings come across the screen when you watch the when you watch the the broadcast mass on YouTube. I would like to give you another blessing now that uh, that the Lord will keep you close to Himself. That the good work that He's been doing will continue, even if it's painful. 
because uh, that can happen as well, but that it will continue and ultimately he will bring the good work he's been doing to completion and that you and I will be able to share in the peace of Christ in this life at this time and the glory of everlasting life in the kingdom. We ask this of him who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen.